Okay, so let's start talking about the cervical fascia. Now the cervical fascia literally means the fascia that surrounds the neck. See, the basic idea is that the neck is the transition and the conducting zone between the head and the rest of the body and holds a lot of important viscera of the endocrine, respiratory and the digestive systems. These structures occupying the neck are crowded as there is no bony covering or cage and are prone to injury and damage. So fascia is literally the connective tissue which binds the various regions of the neck. It also sends in certain extensions which help retain the vessels and the muscles in their position and protect them. Now let's start by recalling that fascia is made up of two layers, the superficial fascia and the deep fascia. So the superficial fascia is subcutaneous and is present just below the skin and the deep fascia is present around the muscles the blood vessels and the organs. Coming to the superficial fascia, the superficial fascia lies between the dermis and the deep cervical fascia and contains areolar tissue with a paper thin like platysma. Okay, so the platysma is a muscle of facial expression which is running anterolaterally, right? It arises from the collarbone extending to the angle of the jaw. Okay, and Lying deep to the platysma, we have our cutaneous nerves, superficial veins, lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and some small arteries. Now, although the platysma, being the muscle of facial expression, has a lot of clinically relevant points attached to it, the one relating to the fascias of the neck is that the platysma, being a superficial muscle, has to be stitched separately. Okay, so that the skin does not adhere to the deeper neck muscles and cause an ugly scar. From here, let's go on to the main topic, which is the deep fascia. So the deep fascia lies deep to the platysma and literally forms a collar around the neck. Okay, so it's completely enclosing the neck by one of its layers and hence it is also called fascia coli because it's forming a collar. In the interval between the muscles, vessels and the organs of the cervical region, it gives various extension or lamina around the various structures of the neck. Okay, so these are basically processes inwards to form separate sheets. So this way it has seven modifications, which are the investing layer, the pretracheal layer, the pre-vertebral layer. Okay, let me show you here. The investing layer completely surrounding the pretracheal layer, the pre-vertebral layer, the carotid sheath, the buccopharyngeal fascia here, temporal fascia and the pharyngobasilar fascia. In the next video, we'll start our discussion on the investing layer of the deep fascia. So before starting that, let's quickly recap what we have studied so far. We have studied that the fascia that surrounds the neck is the cervical fascia, which is divided into the superficial and the deep fascia. The superficial fascia contains areolar tissue with the paper thin like platysma. And below the platysma are the cutaneous nerves, superficial veins, lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and some small arteries. We study that the deep fascia surrounds the neck like collar and has seven modifications, which were these. So I'll see you in the next video and we'll continue our discussion on the investing layer.